Even though wineries are very popular destinations for Texas travelers, there are some people who might find the tasting room experience a little intimidating. Dana Carter at Vintner's Hideaway in Fredericksburg says it doesn't have to be that way. In going into a tasting, uh, and, and someone who hasn't done a lot of tastings, is to be very honest with their experience. Don't think that you have to come to a wine tasting already knowing a bunch about wine. That's why you're practicing, that's why you're tasting, is to learn or even expand your knowledge that you already have. So I just encourage, encourage everyone to talk to your server. You're gonna have the lightest wines at the top and usually it'll be white and then you'll go through rosés and then go into the reds and the reds are in order of weight, like the heaviest are at the bottom, the lightest are at the top. And then bubbles, if we're going to have bubbles, sometimes we'll put them even before the white wine, but definitely between the white and rosés because they're, they're delicate, you know. And then the sweetest wines are going to be at the end of the menu for us, and especially any fortified wines um, are going to be at the very end of the menu. And it's because the sweeter wines are going to coat the palate, and so you can't taste our beautiful dry wines if you've gotten the palate coated with sugars. In Vintner's Hideaway Tasting Room, when we are able, we change glasses between wines. If we are gonna use glasses over, we, the staff here are, have been taught, and we all do this, we rinse the glass with the next wine. Doesn't take much, but you know, that, that does take away from profit, but we want your experience to be just an amazing experience. Here, because we have so many different winemakers, our styles are very different. Our flights are always different because of what we have. So I encourage people, when we're done, do you have questions? Is there a wine you wanna go back to? Is there something that we need to learn a little more? Or um, I want people to buy with confidence. I don't want people to get home and think, why did I buy this wine? Because when you're in a tasting room, you're kind of caught up in the experience and it's romantic and you buy things and it's a very different experience when you're home. You may do your own tastings. You may share a tasting. We encourage that. I don't want anyone to be overserved, And a lot of people do share and we're happy with that. That's not a problem at all. My passion, Vintner's Hideaway passion, is education, sharing it with people. So not, not the fast tastings. If you want to do a quick tasting, don't come here. <laughs> it's just not what we do. I could send you to other tasting rooms to do that. <laughs>